The Indian Space Research Organization is launching its second mission to the moon on 15th July 2019. And unlike its predecessor, Chandrayaan 1, which carried an orbiter alone, Chandrayaan 2 is bigger. It'll have an orbiter, a lander Vikram, and a rover Pragyan. Hello, I'm Kavya, Tech 2's resident science junkie. And above all else, what sets Chandrayaan 2 apart is where it's headed. Somewhere no human or machine has been before, the moon's south pole. Hearts, money and billion dollar projects are riding on what's actually found here. Huge countries with legit space programs, the former Soviet Union, US and China, have all landed on the moon. But they haven't been to the South Pole. Jeff Bezos' space venture Blue Origin is aiming to be the first private company to land on the South Pole in 2024. This is Blue Moon. This is an incredible vehicle and it's going to the moon. Even Israel's Bereshith recently tried and made it to the moon's orbit. It took photos till moments before it crashed onto the surface and died an epic, tragic death. So clearly, it's super risky. So why would we want to go there? To begin with, the South Pole's landscape is way more interesting than the North. Because the surface area that stays in the shadows is much larger. There are also several craters here that Chandrayaan-1 found water ice inside of. Now the whole world is eager to know more. And you too might be thinking, where exactly is this water? And where did it come from? Well, Chandrayaan 2 is going to bring us back answers to exactly those questions. We know from past missions that this water is frozen. It's trapped inside craters near the South Pole. The hottest it gets inside these icy craters is minus 150 degrees Celsius. So that water isn't evaporating anytime soon. Because of the way sunlight falls on the South Pole, and the moon's tilted axis, no light or heat reaches the bottom of these craters. Estimates tell us there's somewhere between 10,000 to 10 million tons of water ice near the moon's surface. And why is this important? Well, if humankind goes the way of Elon Musk's dream of becoming an interplanetary species, we need water. The moon is a very convenient spaceport. It's close to Earth, and the water on it could be used for our survival, but also maybe to power rockets in the future. It just so happens that the two things needed to make rocket fuel are hydrogen and oxygen. And no points for guessing where those can be found. Oh, and speaking of powering stuff, there's a second reason, helium-3. We've all learned about helium in school, but it turns out there's more than one form of helium. And helium-3 is rare here on Earth, but it's very abundant on the moon. Helium-3 is highly sought after in research labs that study nuclear fusion. This is a technology that could someday power rockets, spacecrafts, maybe even our homes. The trouble is, we know almost nothing about helium-3, not how to use it or even how to handle it. But ISRO's chairman, Dr. K. Shivan, had this to say about ISRO's agenda for helium-3. The countries which have the capacity to bring that source from the moon to Earth will dictate the process. I don't want to just be part of them, I want to lead them. We approve of that message. Chandrayaan 2 will attempt to soft land in a flat plane between two craters, Manzanus C and Sempelius N, at a latitude of about 70 degrees south. And while that's expected on 6th of September, tune in to watch the Chandrayaan 2 launch on 15th July with Tech 2. We're following the mission all the way from launch to landing on 6th of September. You can stay updated on all things related to the mission by following the link in the description below to our dedicated Chandrayaan 2 domain. For all other cool stories from the world of internet, gadgets and science, you can stay tuned to our channel, hit that bell icon and subscribe to Tech2 Gadgets. We also have another channel dedicated to gaming, uh, Tech2 Gaming, so you can follow that for all things gaming. This is Kavya for now, signing off from Tech2.